In this video, I'm going to share with you 10 tips on how you can become smarter and appear smarter. So this is something that I don't struggle with. It's something that is my strength. My weaknesses are kind of the flip side, the um, other forms of intelligence, emotional intelligence, social intelligence, physique, looking muscular, all those other things are what I've been trying to push up. So I want to share with you some of the things that have worked for me. Number one, first thing you should do is do not do any short-sighted tricks to become more intelligent by tricking other people and not actually improving your true intelligence. So examples of this would be when people tell you, oh, buy glasses, it'll make you look smarter. Or, oh, you want to, you know, talk like this and use fancy words and then, you know, avoid using words like dude and um. Now that works to a certain extent, but uh, it kind of solves only the surface level problem. It's kind of like saying, uh, hey, rent this fancy Lamborghini and you will appear rich. Well, the problem is you're not actually rich and what ends up happening is that people find out because you have to live your life, you have a reputation to manage and if you live in any sort of environment where you want friends or community, they're going to find out and you're not going to have anything that lasts long term whether it's a friendship or something longer when it's built on the lie. They're going to find out you're not rich. So those are more so uh, short-sighted, short-term tactics that may not work long-term. The second tip I have for you is actually on how to get smarter, and that's to hang around smart people. Uh, this is what I used to do uh, all the time in school. Uh, I would see who's like really smart, who's really successful in class, and whenever I could, I would hang around them and spend as much time as I could around them rather than other people who are goofing off and everything, uh, you know, doing stuff like that. What ends up happening is you don't even have to try at that point. And just by being around them and listening to them, it's going to rub off on you. You're going to start remembering things and acting differently and uh, thinking better, which will improve how you think and you'll get more knowledge and all that other stuff. It'll come naturally. Tip number three read books. Now they don't have to be really boring books, they just have to be books that have at least a touch of you know effort that you have to put into reading them or a touch of science or something that is informative. 95% uh, of the book can be really fun. For me it's books on like the science of happiness, the science of exercise and uh, they're very casually written. Uh, and what ends up happening is naturally, you know, you don't have to like actively search for uh, high vocab words that are complicated. You just read the book and naturally over time, it doesn't, it takes a decent amount of time, not super long, but after like 20, 30 books, you're going to naturally start adopting vocab words and all this other stuff that makes you seem smarter. Number four, what if you really just don't like reading books? Audiobooks and podcasts, these are another avenue that have worked really well for me. The best part, you could do them while driving, shopping, anything you want, and it goes into your ear, you're multitasking, and you're getting a lot of benefit from it. Plus, it's more of an informal type uh, thing, so it's more fun. Five, what if you don't like listening to stuff either? Okay, now you're getting really picky, but I have one for you. YouTube videos. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button on my channel because if you watch like 10 of my videos, which doesn't take long if you watch them at two times speed, uh, you can actually get so much information just naturally. And by that time, you can use that information in your stories in your conversation because a lot of the stuff that I talk about a lot of our YouTube channels talk about in the self-help community you can almost mention them in any situation because they deal with general life struggles that everyone has to deal with health exercise earning money all that good stuff okay that was number five number six I kind of hinted at this in the previous one but listen to stuff at double or triple time speed 
So what this will do is uh, get a lot more information in your head faster, especially when, you know, sometimes they just talk really slow in audiobooks. So you get a lot more information a lot faster and you can get through a lot more. And by doing that, you get much farther ahead compared to other people. Number seven, seventh thing that you can do to be smarter or appear smarter. Now, as I hinted at at the very, very beginning, this is this is a specific form of intelligence that you're really looking for, academic intelligence, not social or emotional intelligence, which are different. So to get better at academic intelligence, one other thing you can do is go to group gatherings or meetups or events with people who are really smart and ambitious. These can be Toastmasters events, Tony Robbins events, uh, a book review event, uh, something in your area, maybe it's an internet marketing event. Uh, because these people, they're very uh, ambitious, they're really uh, driven, and they've, actually, they've often achieved a lot. So um, you can get a higher quality uh, level of people compared to you know, just people in your class. And many of these events are free. Number eight, here's a quick one that's kind of philosophical. Ask yourself, why do you wanna be smarter in the first place? This can save you a lot of time because what ends up happening is a lot of people do it for the wrong reasons. They think it will like get them uh, more results in dating. Uh, and some of them, they just do it because they think you'll get them a job interview. Um, so really ask yourself what the reasons are because sometimes those reasons may not be the most effective for getting there. For example, uh, maybe you're smart enough and that's not really the issue. That can happen a lot. You just don't think you're smart enough. Uh, but again, I know some of you truly do need help with this. So let's move on to number nine. The ninth tip I have for you is to get really good. You don't have to be great or a master. You just have to be pretty good. Being a master is better, of course, at one skill set so that you can apply it to all these other different skill sets in life, uh, in your conversation and so forth. And this works really well because um, it shows that you're smart in one area and that you can use that uh, in other areas as analogies. Let's say you're really good at um, being a mechanic. Try and use those words and models of the world in other areas when you're learning other things or trying to uh, show that you understand other things. So let's say someone starts talking about marketing and you don't know anything about marketing but they try and explain it and you're like, oh yeah, that's just like when the carburetor in the engine you know, flows through and it's a circular cycle just like how you know, collecting customers in the customer acquisition process during marketing is almost like a flowing through circular process. So you're kind of using analogies in a world that you understand to show that you're pretty smart and you can apply that in other realms. The 10th tip, again, is going to be the icing on the cake. As I mentioned, I don't think you should build these as foundation items, but they do help. And those all involve appearance and body language. So smart people don't really use a lot of low level words, usually like, uh, like, um, duh. They can, they can, but when they do, they kind of back it up with a lot of um, thorough understanding of the world. Uh, so trying to avoid filler words like that. Also, this is more about um, a power and status thing, but they're somewhat related, so it might help influence it. A lot of high status people pause and speak really slowly because they don't feel like they have to stuff every word in in the shortest time possible because they know people are willing to wait and listen to them and give them the attention because they have the status. So talk slower sometimes. You don't have to like rush through everything because it denotes low status and it may partially be related to intelligence too. Some people say it's directly related to intelligence, which is why you should talk slower. I don't think so. Another thing is, here's a bonus tip. Take a improv or stand-up comedy class. Uh, when it comes to humor, especially with women and other forms of intelligence, they're really good at 
sniffing through the BS and the lies. Why? Because it's they biologically had to. Therefore, they have gotten really good unconsciously at only identifying the severely hard to fake signals of intelligence. One of them is being humor, humorous. I mean, you everyone can lie about how smart they are or how rich they are, uh, but you can't fake a joke. You either make them laugh or you don't, which is why a lot of females like humor a lot uh, when they're looking for a guy. That's one of the first things they say. They want a funny guy. So what's the point I'm trying to make? Learn how to be funny because it's a signal of your mental agility and intelligence. Uh, learn how a joke is structured. And if you don't think you can be funny, uh, think again because if you're smart enough to watch this video, you have at least a foundational level of intelligence that you can build upon. And uh, jokes are actually not as, you know, throw things against the wall as you think. What I mean by that is some of the top comedians split test hundreds of variations of their jokes at bars and, uh, you know, small venues before they find the one that makes a lot of people laugh. So there is a structure and form and formula to humor. And I might make a video on that someday, but in the meantime, there's plenty of improv and stand-up classes that can help you with that and also other resources online. See ya. Subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button below for free value bombs like the video you just watched whenever I upload new videos. And of course, the real conversation happens on my website, willyoulaugh.com. You can go there and leave a comment and there's a higher chance that I will read it and respond on there. And make sure, if you're a helpful and ambitious person, to take the extra step and join my email newsletter on my site, willyoulaugh.com. That's where you will get into my VIP list where you get some of my best discoveries, best content emailed straight to you, including updates, giveaways, and value bombs that I release nowhere else. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.